Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. It's Amy Ray of Amy Ray Plans. Today I'm here to share with you my favorite spreads from my 2020 planner. Normally I do the top 15 spreads of the year, but I'm going to do top 20 this year and then five honorable mentions. So you're probably going to hear the word cute or pretty like a lot in this video, but that's just a warning. So, and I'm just going in order of, um, the beginning to the end of the year. So first up is my first spread of the year, which was this gorgeous Sticky Essentials kit that my friend Christy sent me for my birthday last year. Um, I actually did a memory plan with me for this video and I love how it came out. Um, I really do love doing memory plan with me's and I think in the future when I'm working again, I might have two planners and do memory spreads like something my friend Lauren of Lauren Plans does. I'll try to remember to link her down below. But if you um, want to check her out, which I highly recommend, she's Lauren Plans on Instagram and YouTube. So I really love this spread. This was the week of my birthday. I always do two birthday spreads because my birthday is on New Year's Eve. So it's always included in the last week of the planner and then the first week in the new planner. So I really like doing two birthday spreads. It just makes me feel special. Um, so I love this kit. Normally I'm not a big fan of kits with dark colors, but I really think this worked well for like a New Year's birthday. I used the box with the cake, the cake on the actual day of my birthday. Um, let's see. I went to some stores with my mom on the 30th. Um, Tuesday was my birthday. Wednesday, my family came over. My nephew surprised me with flowers and cupcakes. And then my family surprised me with a cake for my birthday. Um... And then, let's see, I was playing a lot of Skippo this week. This is the week I learned how to play it. Speaking of Skippo, my mom and I played that last night. Um, I really like this sticker that's looking with the magnifying glass because it said that the Once More With Love collection was at Michael's. And I went there and me and my friend looked and we couldn't find it. So that is the first spread. And then I love this spread. This is my second year using this kit. This was originally a mystery kit and then she reformatted it um, from Scribble Prince Co. And this is the reformatted one and I actually have two more um, kits with this. Um, one I'm using actually next week. Um, well, not you're not gonna be seeing this video till February. So you'll have already seen this plan with me. But, um, and then I have one more for next year. And I paired it with some Simply Gilded Pretty Silver and White Bow Washi. I used a lot of foil. I think this was an older wiggle that I used. I just love it. I don't know if you got a good look at the foil there, but very pretty and sparkly. Um, let's see what was going on this week. Lots of cat cuddles, more skip bow. Oh, I won a Coffee Monsters Co. giveaway, which was fun. Um, let's see what else is going on. Lots of cat cuddles. Oh, I had a planner meetup. That seems so foreign because, um, we only had one last year because of, well, one in 2000. Actually, yeah, th duh, this is 2020. So this was our last, this was our one and only planner meetup for the year. And then the next spread is this gorgeous kit from Caress Press. I actually have this again. A friend sent me the mini kit of this, so I'm going to use that this year. I just love the colors. Um, all of these colors work so well together. And these two colors are like my favorite colors ever. Turquoise and pink like this. And like any blues like this or mint green. I love it. Even like green like that. So it was going on this week. Oh, I was going for massages to see if that would help my hip problem and it didn't. Um, had some YouTube binges, FaceTime family, lots of cat cuddles. My nephew turned eight. Then we have this gorgeous kit from Scribble Prince Co. It is the Magic 2.0. I actually have this kit again to use, um, for this year. I really love the foil that I ch chose to use with it. I used hollow foil and then I used these Mickey glitter header overlays. So pretty. And then I used the washi that came with the bundle. This was like a bundle originally and then she reformatted it and brought the kit back, I think. I think that's what happened. So using lots of hollow. 
Oh, this is when I purchased seasons one through six of um, Chicago PD. I think my mom and I went to, um, I put pancakes, but I think we went to Chick-fil-A. Maybe we went to IHOP, I'm not sure. Um, ran some errands. I went out with my best friend and her son. Had my monthly infusion and my three-month follow-up with my, rheumato my rheumatologist. I was about to say with my rheumatoid arthritis. No, my rheumatologist. This was when COVID was like starting to get out of control. And this is like the last day I went out aside from doctor appointments. Um, I think it like the, the shutdown and stuff happened like this week weekend um I because I know I marked this bad anxiety because that my anxiety was like in overdrive my Chicago PD DVDs arrived my mom and I baked Irish soda bread normally she bakes it but I wanted to help this year sometimes it's hard for me to help with baking and cooking because my hands hurt so bad um with my rheumatoid arthritis my hands are what is affected the most so Sometimes it frustrates me that I can't use them. Another look at the foil. And then this week was the week of St. Patrick's Day. And I didn't have a St. Patrick's Day themed kit. But I thought this worked because it was like rainbow. And it just kind of reminded me of St. Patrick's Day. Even though I didn't have a designated St. Patrick's Day kit. So I thought this would work. I had this kit in my collection. I really wanted to pick, this is from Caress Press. I really wanted to pick up the Scribble Prince Co. one of this too, but I don't think it's in stock anymore and I can't buy it anyway. I know I was having a lot of anxiety because I was using stickers like this. Um, it was St. Patrick's Day. It was my nephew's birthday. It was the first day of spring. Um, we, this was like when we were reorganizing my room. Um, yeah, and then this is the day that, or this is the week, um, this is a Scribble Prince Co. kit. This was her 2019 Cyber Monday Mystery. I paired it with some Simply Gilded Washi and the Washi that came with this bundle. And this came with a rose gold foil bundle, so I used a lot of rose gold. This is when we were deep cleaning my room. My new carpet was installed, my desk arrived, um... And uh, then this was the day I spent the entire, well, not this day, but I spent the entire day here organizing my room and getting it all back to how I wanted it. And I was just so thankful to have my mom and stepdad's help because at this point in the year, I was still dealing with my hip pain. And um, I definitely wouldn't have been able to redo my room on my own. And they did the painting and everything. And then it was Mother's Day and we um, got to see my grandma through the window. Um, and that's the last time I've seen her through the window was because she had, she's, She's in a nursing home in assisted living, so um, she's been in lockdown the whole year. So hopefully, I think she gets her first COVID vaccine soon, so hopefully we can see her in the next couple of months. And then I love this kit. This was a mystery kit from Caress Press. Again, love the colors, the blue and the pink and the green. Um, let's see, I got happy mail from my friend Ariana. Um, let's see what else was going on. Cat cuddles. Um, oh, this is when Christy, um, I marked that she made my day. She let me, um, have access to her. She asked if I wanted to, um, use her Hulu and CBS All Access accounts. Um, it was the Survivor finale. Um, we hung up the boards and the artwork in my room now that we had re- did it. We rehung everything up because we had to take everything down for it to get painted. Um, or for my mom and stepdad to paint it. Um, let's see. I was prepping for a video. I wonder what video that was. I should have marked it. And then we have another Caress Press kit. This was like her stay at home, like lazy day themed kit. I love this kit so much. The colors are really bright. I love the pattern, like the patterns that she used. Just very vibrant. It was my niece's birthday. I watched Blank Check on Disney Plus. I love that movie. If you are a 90s kid and you haven't seen that movie I, and you have Disney Plus, highly recommend it. I remember when I watched it for the first time, I was like, I want to live like this kid. Because like the preference is, I'm not going to get the story away, but like in the middle of the movie, there's a scene where 
from his room he has um a water slide into the pool and I was like I want that so bad I, we didn't even have a pool growing up but I still wanted that um one of my friends purchased the EC surprise box for me the spring one I think it was yeah the spring or was it the summer no the summer um lots of movie and tv and youtube binges reading filming cat cuddles oh i watched teen spirit on disney plus and um then i started binge watching tell me a story and we have this gorgeous kit from sticky essentials which is carnival themed love the colors i'm so mad about this my pen i was going to fill something out on one of the boxes and my pen um the clicker was on so the ink was out and um i dropped it and it wrote on my bottom washi i probably should have put a sticker there to cover it but oh well uh let's see oh i had some these were de um de-stashed to me these scripts from kennedy's creations it was a sampler it was the first week of June. Still, I uh, was watching Tell Me a Story Season 2. Um, I had a pool day with my best friend and her son. Um, let's see what else was going on. Filming videos. I was binge watching Chicago PD. Then this week was a mystery kit from Scribble Prints Co. And I paired it with rose gold foil. Um, this is when I had the Botox injection to see if that would help my hip, and it didn't. Um, we got Chinese food this day, and then we had leftover Chinese food for lunch. Um, Starbucks run, my niece turned 11, talked to my dad a lot. Um, it was my seven-year anniversary of having my cat Pumpkin. Love this spread. This was a Scribble Prince Co. cake called Beach Party that she came out with in 2019. I love this box right here. I used, um, it's meant to be a bougie box, but I used it as a full box, and I really love how that turned out. Just using some silver foil. Um, I did the Instagram stories of my desk tour. I was FaceTiming my best friend and her son a couple times this week. Um, I had my monthly infusion. Let's see what else was going on. I was picked to be a part of the Erin Condren Wonder Woman collab. So I picked out my products that day. This was when I met with the surgeon. My ne nephew turned 12 and I FaceTimed him. Oh, these ones have my honorable mentions. So I'm not going to go to that one right now. Then we have this week. This was actually the week I had my surgery. Um, I really love this spread. This was an older anniversary kit from Scribble Brins Co. I think this was her four-year anniversary one. I was reading a lot. I actually read 12 books this month. I love this sticker from Virgo and Paper. I FaceTimed my best friend and her son. I FaceTimed my nephew. FaceTimed my dad. FaceTimed a bunch of people this week. They all wanted to see how I was feeling. Really love this kit. And then the next spread, oh, I love this one. I love the foil, I love the colors, I love the clip art. So pretty, look at that foil. Oof, stunning. Um, what was going on this week? I was FaceTiming my friend. Let's see what else was going on. Um, I got some happy mail talked to some family. I started, I think this was the week I started physical therapy for my hip after my surgery. Okay, where's the next one? Then we have this kit, which is a kit from 2019 from Sticky Essentials. I really love the colors, especially the teal. But I think all the colors just go so nice together. I started my wellness log, which I'm still using. I marked that it finally felt like fall, but then the next day it was like hot again. Um, I lost five pounds. I got happy mail from my friends. This is when I started getting obsessed with this new drink, ice vanilla chai with pumpkin cream cold foam. So good. I was doing physical therapy. I was able to go for walks. I had cat cuddles. Then we have this spread, which was for the week of my mom and my nephew's birthday. 
Um, but I used this kit for my mom's birthday. My nephew turned six. I watched a bunch of Halloween themed movies. Um, I was reading a lot. My nephew made his confirmation. Got some Starbucks. FaceTime with my family. Then I love this red so much. The clip art, the colors. I really wanted to pick up the second of this kit to use this year. But unfortunately, it's no longer in the shop. And I wasn't able to get it before it went out of the shop. So I was going on walks. I had some pumpkin ice cream. I um, went to some stores with my mom. I had my follow-up with my surgeon. Watching a lot of Halloween movies. FaceTiming family. Watching Chicago PD. Then this was the week of Halloween, and this is a Sticky Essentials kit. I really love this clip art. Again, I wanted to get the Scribble Prince Co. one of this as well, but I just wasn't able to. Um, let's see. I was in my feelings this week. Um, it was my dad's birthday. It was Halloween. I watched my first Christmas movie. Um, I was re-watching Chicago PD Season 7. It was the first day of November. Then we have this week, this was a movie themed kit from Caress Press. I love the foil. I love the full bottom washi overlay, so stunning. This was my best friend's anniversary. Um, reading a lot, um, Chicago PD and, oh, all, like all the shows started back this week. Um, let's see, I was watching a bunch of Christmas movies. My Christmas kit for the week of Christmas arrived. I went out to some stores with my mom. I binge watched Dash and Lily, which I highly recommend. Then we're into the Christmas spreads. I love this spread so much. I used this in 2019 with gold foil, and I just wanted to use it without foil this week. We put up the tree downstairs. Vlogmas started on YouTube, and I started doing Instagram Vlogmas, which is my second year doing it. Um, my best friend's son turned five. We decorated gingerbread houses, watching a bunch of Christmas movies. Then this was the week of my niece's birthday, and I used this Christmas party, which was a birthday-themed Christmas kit. Um, I won a giveaway. Um, I was organizing stickers. I got some birthday and Christmas gifts. Doing I FaceTime my niece on her birthday. I had my monthly infusion and my three-month three follow-up with my rheumatologist. Then this is the week of Christmas using silver foil. I really love how this spread turned out. Um, uh, what were we doing this week? It was the first day of winter. I was still going for my walks as I still am. We baked really yummy cookies. They're fun. F there was a package of Funfetti chips and if you follow the recipe on the back, it makes really good like white chocolate Funfetti cookies. So delicious. We're actually gonna bake them again in a couple weeks. Um, I bought stickers from Scribble Prince Co. with some gift cards I got from my sister and brother-in-law for Christmas and my birthday. Um, it was Christmas and Christmas Eve. FaceTime some family. We went to my sister's on Christmas. And then these two days we were at my aunt's, um, played a lot of games and read a lot. And then the last of the top 20 spreads of 2020 is my birthday spread for this week. Um, I used this January 2020 mystery kit from Scribble Prince Co. And I paired it with gold foil. We came home from my aunt's, still watching a ton of Christmas movies. Um, I watched Christmas movies till like March. Had some cat cuddles. I had to get my... Is this one? Yeah, I had to get my... Um, Glasses readjusted because they were giving me headaches. We got cupcakes for my birthday. It was my birthday on the 31st. I went out with my friend on my birthday. Um, yeah, so those are the top 20 spreads. And now we'll go into the five spreads that made it for the honorable mentions. The first one is this really pretty mystery kit from Scribble Prince Co. And I'm pretty sure the wiggle I used with this came with the kit. Look at that wiggle so pretty i just love the foiling i love the colors i love the clip art just think it's all so stunning what was going on this week 
um, my Wonder Woman collab products arrived, and I did a three, was this, was this the week I did three videos? Yeah, I did three videos this week. Um, I had to get my COVID test because I was having surgery the next week and I needed to make sure I was negative. I read The Overdue Life of Amy Byler, which is a really good book. Um, I think I read it in like one or two days. This month, was this August? Yeah, this month I read like 12 books. It was the most I read all year in a single month. Then the next kit is another summer themed kit. This one is from Sticky Essentials. I really love this kit. I love the colors, the clip art. I just think it's so pretty. Look at that bottom washy like sunset ombre. So pretty. I really like how I did this, um, um, like not lettering, but this box here and here. I use these Let's Make It Sparkle books and I use the script stickers that say read from Sticky Essentials. Doing a lot of reading this week. I watched The Last Summer on Netflix. That was good. I had my um, my post up. I FaceTimed some family. Yeah. Reading a lot. Then we have the third honorable mention, which is this fall mystery themed kit from Scribble Prince Co. I really love the foil. I think it came with this foil, but I'm not 100% sure. I love this tall box right here. What was going on this week? We got ice cream. I got some Happy Meal. I was very anxious. Um, had some Starbucks. I was still going to physical therapy. It was the 11-year anniversary of having my cat, TV Eli. And then... Is this the last one? Yep, this is number five. This was a fall themed kit from Sticky Essentials. And I did a collab video with my friend Shay of Shavy Plans. Um, I love how this spread turned out. I love the colors. Um, what was going on this week? I FaceTimed some family, a lot of YouTube binging, a lot of Christmas movies and Christmas themed TV shows. Uh, missing my family. Um, cat cuddles, lots of FaceTime. Yeah, I really love how this spread turned out. My favorite box are these two right here. I just love the little doggy, but I love this one too with all. And I love that. I like all the full boxes. I can't even. I think like this is my least favorite, but I still love the rest of them. And I still like this one, even though it's not like my favorite of the kit. But yeah, those are all of my top 20 and honorable mentions for 2020 and this is the last video I needed to film with this planner so after I film this it's going on the shelf with all my rest with all the rest of my completed planners I really hope you guys liked this video if you had a favorite spread out of the ones I showed I would love to know what it is um what was what are some of your favorite spreads that you did this year I'd love to know that down in the comments as well as always if you have any questions or comments please feel free to leave them down below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible I hope you're all doing well and staying safe and I will see you all in my next video bye everyone